Hello and welcome to a very special Gundam Battle Operation 2 Virginie RS Jarja, a variation of the R Jarja, a unit that lost out to the fourth generation of mobile suits due to their overwhelming firepower. It remains a fantastic suit regardless, and this one is set up as a sniping slash command unit that can do pretty much everything you'd expect. It can snipe at the beginning of a battle, and then it can play hit and run games. It actually does most of what it's supposed to in the lore. So, as it goes, we have a unit that starts at the cost of 550. It is ground and space capable of support. It has a ballistic resistance of 13, a beam resistance of 23, a melee resistance of 24. Pretty nice. A range strength of 35, a melee strength of 20, a movement speed of 125, and a thrust gauge of 65. As you can see, this unit's actually quite capable. We're a little weak to ballistic fire. For parts, our part slots, we have close range of 14, medium of 10, and long range of 16. A fairly well-rounded suit. For equipment, we have the large beam rifle sniper. It has six ammo, however, if you charge it, be careful, because it fires everything off at the same time. So, my suggestion, depending on if you want to get a really big hit in, is to uh, fire off at least four shots, if you can, and then charge up and shoot the rest of the remaining two off. But hey, use do whatever you think is best. We have the RS Jarja Beam Saber. It does that kind of fencing style that you'd expect. The three tube special missile pod times two, which are actually quickly um, one of the weapons I use pretty effectively to put pressure on people and to help finish off or soften up a target. Reloads pretty quick, has decent range, and pretty good damage. And surprisingly, something actually named accurately, the hand grenade, <laughs> which are pretty nice and handy in this, in the regard that this is a hit and run suit that works better with its team, basically kind of following up behind them and, well, helping basically finish off or uh, soften up targets. For skills, we have high performance radar level three, high performance scope level three, data. Uh, observational data link one frontline support system high performance aerospace gimbal the scouting parallel processing device high performance balancer melee combo controller <laughs> controller oh pardon me high spec and back level two special shoulder add-on buffer level four that's 35 percent decrease in damage when you get hit in the shoulders and force injector effectively this thing set up so that it well really appeals to me it's capable of putting up somewhat of a fight it has force injectors the only thing it's missing is really a dodge roll and well it's even got melee priority level two so it clashes with a lot of generals as a suit, I think it's fantastic. It really does do what it says on the can. It plays like a hit and run unit that does a little bit of sniping, does a little bit of harassing, can mix it up a little bit, but gets the hell out of dodge afterwards. So let's see how it does in the match to come. Hello and welcome to another Gundam Battle Operation match featuring the RS Jarja. I don't know why I was calling it the R Jarja earlier in the preamble so please forgive me for that <laughs> oh my lord um so yeah i believe i was just thinking of the, of the original suit it was based on but this was um a little bit after i had just gotten it randomly from a roll because i get everything a dollar late and you know always late and i was like you know what I need to, to get some recording done, so I'm going to try this suit. And I actually really, really do like the Jarja's um, design, so I was looking for something that might kind of fit into my playstyle. So, there's a little bit of awkwardness, but bam! You know, I'm going to pop those missiles right in that guy and do some 
pretty substantial damage. And there's the grenade. So I'm going to pop a few grenades out. Realize that that was the raid and take him out. Kind of making myself a target, but this unit has a pretty interesting little uh, set of uh, capabilities. I like the little shoulder missiles uh, that are very similar to the other. Oh, get out of that. Oh, get saved by three. Thank you, Jayzilla. And I'm just going to bail out of that because I'm just getting that crap kicked out of me. Even though that one somehow shot me from the corner. <laughs> so, I realize there's a guy off to my side there. And, uh... At start, Jigen is really being aggressive. Um, I haven't had a good match in that yet, so let me know if that's any good. But um, I'm basically trying to hold up the line where I can, but I'm quite impressed with this thing for what it is. It's not the greatest suit I've ever played, and then I'm dead. Got singled out by the raid, so, you know. But I do like how it plays. It's got a simple loadout. It's somewhat effective. Pretty good overall. Pick where and how you'll sort it. Uh, I have to pardon me. I've come off a, a bout of uh, recording, so my voice is a little rough. But I got a really good team, an all general team. I have another um, support match where it's all raids. <laughs> I'm a support, so some fairly odd ones, so I'm going to finish that guy off real quick with the shoulder missiles. And there's the raid. He's going to uh, keep coming after me. Which is his job. I'm not sure what one was doing the whole time, like um, you know, dancing around, but the raid's really getting a little distracted, and I get air supported out of existence, because it's not a match unless I get murdered by air support somehow. So, thank you, Take 4. You lovely person. Ah, uh, we're in a bit of a lead. I got murdered really quick there, but I do promise that the match does get a little bit better as things go. But I'm looking at my team, and they're starting to get worn down here. But they're fighting like cats and dogs. And by that, I mean, like, dogs and cats if they were wearing plate mail and full of vengeance and hate. Which, with cats, that's probably pretty close. Um, so, there's snipers over there. I'm trying to get a shot in here, and Shazam! 3,811 3, damage. So, I'm just going to go ahead and pop some shoulder missiles at their uh, guy over there. And I could come over, chuck that in there, throw another one in, and those grenades are fairly good. I, I'm, I admit, I do like the uh, beam rifle, shoulder missile, and hand grenades uh, kind of setup that you get with this unit. So I do like the setup, but uh, one thing I didn't note in the preamble is if you fully charge this rifle, it, it shoots all of the, uh, the magazine off. So you got to be somewhat careful uh, when you're doing that. So I'm trying to cancel out this guy. And I'm going to jump up here. And I'm going to try to get a cheeky shot in. And I'm just going to take it out on him. And quite honestly, I mean, geez. As the suit goes, i got to admit, that thing can do the damage. So I'm just going to torment that guy until he's dead. And uh, the team's doing pretty good. Take a cheeky shot by the guys on the ground. He's a little distracted with five, so he's not as aware. So I'm going to try to trip him up with some of those. And throw a grenade down. Oh, miss. I, I'm missing, but you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. So I'm going to get pushed a little bit, but I'm trying hard to support five here. So I'm trying to take out the guy's legs as much as I can. Shubulk is gone, but five's gone as well. So I back off into this tunnel, 
because one, I don't want to get artilleryed again, which is not my kind of thing. Oh, huh? gotta take some shots at my friend here. Didn't get friend zoned, so that's fantastic. And I'm gonna take that shot, miss it completely, throw a grenade down. And I see my friend here, that's the other support, the uh, the Jetta one. He's gonna come in, take some shots at me. I'm just gonna throw some missiles out and play this game because I figure, even if I'm not doing fantastic damage here, I can at the very least keep some of them tied up trying to kill me as opposed to doing anything useful. So I see five is getting into some mess again. I take a shot to trip that guy off. And now I'm gonna throw the grenades in. The grenades are decent splash damage, so I like using them. Oh, and the rage gun. See, that's why you take care of your guys. And I'm just gonna take him out with a quick melee. I didn't use a lot of melee in this match, which kind of surprised me considering how some of my matches have gone. <laughs> or I spend more time trying to like melee away a, a with him. Um. So we come in here, I'm going to catch him with that. I keep thinking it only has one melee strike, so I was just trying to slow him down for a certain amount of time, take him out. So we're in the last little stretch, so I'm going to just do a full charge, and I'm going to try to watch my guy here. So I wanted to come up and back up four. Now, I'm going to hit their support with a full charge. Now, it didn't do as much damage as I wanted, Oh, there's the raid. Now here's where all of those uh, Fruster Gauge comes into it. So I'm going to do a little bit of a dance here as he tries to catch me. And 5 is going to uh, repay him for all of his kindness. And he's gone. Um, just going to keep throwing it out. I actually like this unit as kind of like a close range support, even though that Jetta is really trying to take it to me. I pull my shot a little bit and I come in with a grenade. 2,000 damage. Dang. And time's up. You can't smack me in the face. Sorry, sir. <laughs> so, let's see how we did. Alright. Victory pose with my big old gun. And fourth spot. Thanks for joining me. Bye bye.